hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix assistive touch not working on your iphone in ios 16 or 17 assistive touch is another excellent accessibility feature of ios 16 or 17 it provides shortcuts to essential tasks like locking the screen opening the app switcher therefore it is a great aid if you have trouble navigating or pushing the buttons but what to do if assistive touch is not working on your iphone don't worry i will show you how you can fix it so let's get start the video so the first step is turn excessive touch off and on assistive touch is effectively refreshed when turned on and off so there is a high probability that the feature will appear and function better for that you can simply go to settings click on accessibility click on touch click on assistive touch turn it off and then turn it on again to see if it's work and if it's still not working then the next step is reset assistive touch if the assistive touch is not moving after the update switching it's convincible that you change the feature settings unintentionally by resetting it it can fix all the problem go to settings click on accessibility click on touch click on assistive touch click on customize top level menu click on reset once you have done this, then the next step is restart your iPhone. Restarting your iPhone is the primary step to fix assistive touch not working on your iPhone. It eliminates all the problem glitches and system issue. Go to setting. Click on general, scroll down and you will get this shutdown option. Click on shutdown. So once you have restarted your iPhone and if it's still not working, then the next step is reset all setting. It may happen any display setting overlap with the assistive touch function so it's a good idea to reset all setting of your iphone and get the default options and don't worry your data will be not deleted at all simply go to settings click on general scroll down click on transfer reset iphone click on reset reset all setting enter the passcode of your iphone so once you have done this and if it's still not working then the last step is update your iphone if your iphone is running on absolute ios version you may encounter multiple problems so make sure you always use the most recent ios version go to settings click on general click on software update and if you get any update here make sure that you download and install that update on your iphone so hope this video helps thanks for watching